Okay, this podcast is going to go over some of the most common reasons why your SSH keys might not be working. First off, how do you know if your SSH keys are working? Well, if your SSH keys are working, when you log in, when you log in, it won't ask you for your password. This is asking for my password for my key, which is my passphrase. I'll type that. If my keys were working, that would have let me in immediately. In this case, it says, oh, hey, what's your password? So that tells me my keys didn't work. So if I log in with my other user ID, the keys are working properly. I already typed my passphrase, uh, so it didn't ask me my passphrase again. And then I got in without putting a, a password. So that's how you can know if it is working. You get in with your passphrase, and you don't get asked for a password. So if it's not working, what are some things you need to check uh, to see what the problem is. I'm going to detail, I think, the three most common problems uh, I have found with, with people having with keys not working. Uh, so we'll go through that step by step. First problem people have with keys is they don't put it in the right place or they name it the wrong thing. So once you log into the remote system, if you do ls-la, you should have a .ssh directory. You will have to create that. Uh, you should have created that when you did the other, other podcast. Uh, so .ssh, that's where your authorized keys file should go. So you can see cd .ssh, do ls-l. You should have a file called authorized keys. Oh, hey, check that out. My authorized keys file is not named properly. It needs to be spelled, it needs to be named authorized keys. So I'm going to correct this error by renaming the file using the move command. It is na now named authorized keys. So that's step one. Make sure your key is in the proper location, your home.ssh directory, make sure it has the proper name, authorized keys. Well, now let's log out and see if that was <clears throat> the only problem we had. Oh, my key still didn't work, so we had some other problem we need to solve. So I'll go back into my SSH directory, uh, look at my authorized keys file. Problem number two, when you pasted your key into your authorized keys file, you jack something up. This is supposed to be one line, this uh, public key entry that you have. So depending on how you move things around, you may have messed up your authorized key file. So uh, in this case, I know I just have an extra line, so I'm going to use a capital J to join the two lines together, and then I'm going to delete the extra space. So now my key is back to one line, and that should work. Or sorry, that should be a proper uh, key at this point. If your key doesn't look right, it's not one line, you may just want to copy and paste it again or, or secure copy it back up uh, to try to try to correct that. Uh, so that's problem number two, your, your key file is messed up. So let's log out and see if that was my only issue, my only remaining issue. Nope, still asked me for a password. So uh, problem number three, most common problem people have is the permissions are not tight enough on uh, the directory and the file. For this to work, you need to be the only one that can read and write the file. Uh, we haven't covered permissions yet. We will in a little while. So we will just go ahead and run these commands if uh, your permissions don't look like mine are going to look like in a minute. Basically, you need to have read write x here and all dashes here for .ssh. So we'll do use the chmod command to change the permissions. Uh, we'll change them to o. 700 and then we'll put dot ssh so now if we look i am the only one that can read these uh these this I, i'm the only one that can access this directory uh again we'll learn about that in the coming module and now i'll cd into the dot ssh directory and this file is readable by other and readable by readable by group and readable by other so now we'll remove those permissions uh oh 600 authorized keys uh, so that is that. So now I'm of the opinion that my SSH should work because that's all the stuff I broke to intentionally show you how to make it work. And there we go. I'd already typed my passphrase in uh, before correctly to my private key and now I got in without the password. So now my keys are working. So to review, uh, first off, make sure your key is in the right location with the right name. There you go. That's where it needs to be in the SSH directory with the name authorized keys. Step two, make sure your authorized keys file is correct and that you have the key pasted in there all on one line. Uh, and then step three, verify the permissions of the, of the file should be read, write, 
and the directory, this dot means current directory, should be read, write, execute. And those things should solve your problem. So what do you do if that didn't solve your problem? Well, in that case, you probably have an issue locally with your key, uh, and you should probably email me, and I'll help you figure that out.